This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Hilary Janot with me. You're the Director of Corporate Services and the Acting Clerk for the Municipality of North Granville. Welcome to FYI. Thank you for having me. You are trying to make uh, North Granville more beautiful. And I mean, it's a beautiful community anyways, but we've got a bit of a competition <laughs> going on right now too with Communities in Bloom. Can you talk about that, what it is? Yeah, absolutely. So we're participating for the first time in Communities Bloom, the provincial competition. And I say competition loosely. Uh, we do get judged, but really the goal of the initiative is to promote beautification, horticulture, environmental sustainability, and really, I think, civic pride as well. And it is a Canada-wide initiative. It's actually an uh, international initiative. So basically communities start at the provincial level, which we are doing this year, and then they can move up to the national level across Canada and then move to the international level as well. Okay, and we do have judges coming here in, in August? Exactly, August 14th to 16th are the big days. So we have the names of the judges. They are from other beautiful communities in Ontario. They have lots of experience judging, so we're excited to welcome them. So there's different areas too that they're gonna be judging in, but how do you get involved? Well, how we want the community to get involved is to showcase what you're already doing. So with being the first year of the program, uh, we are just basically focusing on showcasing initiatives already occurring in the community. Some other communities that have competed for years will create programs such as adopt a planter programs. We're not quite there yet. Um, so this year we're just focusing on showcasing what residents, businesses, and the municipality is doing. So we're encouraging members of the community to make sure their gardens are looking lovely. Uh, we have a photo contest that folks can enter on our municipal website at northgrenville.ca slash projects. And as well, if you have a beautiful garden or maybe a unique garden where you incorporate uh, environmentally sustainable factors, you can also reach out and possibly be included on the judges tour. And there's different areas you're going to be judged in too, or is that you can pick which one you want to be in, which category? So we're judged across six categories. So floral displays, landscaped areas, heritage conservation, tidiness, environmental action, and urban forestry and trails. And within each of those categories, we're judged on three factors. So the municipal contribution, the commercial or business contribution, and then residential uh, com uh, contribution as well. We've got a, a huge horticultural society in, in North Grenville as well, too. And I mean, they've got quite a following. And then we've got some beautiful gardens just even in the North Grenville area. So this is going to be this is going to be huge. I can see you're going to get a lot of a, a lot of people applying to, to be part of this. Yeah, we already have quite a few people reaching out and we're following what's happening in the community as well. So we've already been meeting with our advisory committee, so our environmental sustainable uh, environmental committee. We've met with our heritage advisory committee, our agriculture advisory committee. We were actually at the Horticulture Society's last meeting last week, which was absolutely lovely to meet some of the avid gardeners in our community. Uh, we're following what's happening at the Community Garden, which has had their grand opening at the Kempel campus this past weekend. We're just really trying to keep an eye on all the amazing things that are already going on in the community. Now, if you, if you want to and you don't have a garden, is there that you can pick up a sign to pr help pr promote the event too as well? Absolutely, we'd love that. So we do have signs available at the Municipal Center. So you can either stop by and pick one up or you can uh, email us through our project page on the website. Again, that's northgrenville.ca slash projects and we'd be happy to get you a sign. Now, is there gonna be somewhere posted the, the gardens that they're gonna be looking at so other people can go look at them as well? Exactly. So we're hoping if people agree, um, some people are a little sensitive about you know protecting their gardens and maybe not want people showing up. So we were asking people who are submitting their photos and their gardens through the website to indicate if they want their information publicly shared. And if so, we'll be including the stops on an interactive map on the website. Um, so this will be the tour that the judges will go on. But uh, I think folks in the community are also welcome to check out these gardens as well, while being respectful of people's private property if it's a private residence. Um, and we also have a profile book. So we'll be creating a profile book, which will be showcasing all the amazing things going on and growing in North Grenville. And that'll be posted on our website. And that's what we give the judges two weeks before they come so they can get an introduction to the community. So you say there's people that have applied already, About how many people have you got applying already? I think, I think we've had probably about a dozen entrants wow. to the tour and a dozen entrants to the <clears throat> contest for the photos as well. So pretty good uptake, uh, but we're always happy to hear more. We can always showcase more, more spots. Okay, so just if you can clarify for me, it, you can either have them come see your garden or you can take a picture of it? Exactly. So if you're not interested in having the judges <clears throat> come to your house, 
I mean, can't include everyone on the tour. It'll be a full day. I actually participated in Communities in Bloom in Brockville, and the scheduling of the three days they're here is outrageous. Like you're trying to fit in so much, right. so many amazing things in the community that there's just not enough time to show it all. So you'll either be on the tour, they'll be mm -hmm. showcased in the profile book, uh, and if you're interested, we could include your information publicly online as well. And you were saying earlier too, they're they're not local judges. There's somebody coming from another community. Exactly. So they're coming from another community, so we want to give them a warm <coughs> welcome. They have lots of experience judging. We actually have a, um, uh, she currently judges for Communities in Bloom in Ontario, uh, living locally. So we've been reaching out to her to get her expertise on what we should be fe featuring, which is a great resource for us. Can you list the, the areas, or the categories again? Yeah, for sure. So we have floral displays, <coughs> landscaped areas, heritage conservation, tidiness, environmental action and urban forestry and trails. So we really suspect that we'll hit really well on the urban forestry and trails section, given we're surrounded by forests in our community, um, as well with tidiness and environmental action. And then some other ones um, where we want to really find community members who are already working on this are the floral displays and landscaped areas. So that's really where um, local residents as well as businesses can let us know what they're doing. Okay, now I found you on Facebook, so you've got a great Facebook page. How else do people get a hold of you? So definitely through the Facebook page, that's where we'll be posting the most. And then through our website, northgrenville.ca slash projects. And all our information is there, both our staff information, if you want to reach out to us, and how you can participate in the initiative. Is there a deadline? Well, the judging is August 14th to 16th. So... Our profile book we have to send to the judges two weeks before so any the sooner we can get that information the better and then for the photo contest as well i believe that's closing july 4th excellent excellent okay that that's coming up then yes it's coming up <clears throat> so if you want to get your photos in we got some great prizes uh, including ng green and local um, products as well so oh. definitely get your photos in for that oh this is amazing this is going to be wonderful Thank you very much for joining us today talking about Communities in Bloom. We've got Hilary Janot all the way from Kempfall. Thank you for joining us. You're the Director of Corporate Services and the Acting Clerk for our municipality. Thank you for joining us. Once again, how do people get involved with the Communities in Bloom? You can visit our webpage at www.northgrenville.ca slash projects or our Facebook page, North Grenville in Bloom. Excellent. Thank you very much, Hilary. Okay, thank you.